What's poppin' everybody? It's me, Sabre Wolf 94. I've been trying to contain my frustration for quite a while now with RCS Dialga Palkia GX. I've mentioned plenty of times in match videos randomly, through dedicated rant videos on this channel, how this card needs to get banned because it's too powerful. And yes, I do think this is the most broken Pokemon card ever created when it comes to Pokemon not trainers and stuff. It's gotten to this point right now where I, I cannot believe how the fucking fuck this card is still around in the format. It's so good. It wins so many games so easily. This card is so damn good that it really just changes the way you not necessarily approach. I mean, of course, how you approach the game, the game state, the cards your opponent has but it puts an immediate pressure on you as soon as you see it that no other card has ever just um, has ever mirrored it's like you, you start to get you start to stress as soon as you see your opponent opening with this card you know that it's just going to be a few turns they use the GX attack they attach the third energy start using ultimate ray deal heavy damage while powering up other Pokemon the pressure is so on. There is no other card that puts more pressure on your opponent than this card, ever. And the thing is, unlike the other GX Pokemon or most GX Pokemon, where you know you got your one GX attack in a game, but a lot of G a lot of GX Pokemon like Buzzwool and Tapu Fini GX and Tapu Lele GX and all these GX Pokemon from the GX era, uh, Metagross GX, just name the Pokemon. They've been power crept. Uh, they're too weak, and people aren't running them. With the case with Arceus Dialga Palkia GX, it's so fucking good. You know, when it comes to HP, meets that standard Tag Team GX 280, as good as it's gonna get. That's not like a Waylord. The package with the HP, the attacks, being Dragon, everything, being weak to fairies, with, with fairies, n nobody's using fairies. It's just a whole freaking package. So, you got this Pokemon in Expanded, so you can use this guy's broken ass GX attack, and you can use the V Star Power too, because this card is going to continue to see play for as long as it's around. It will continue to see play. No matter what you do, you just lose against it. And unless you're using the same shit, unless you open the nuts, unless your, your opponent bricks, you cannot beat this card. No matter what I do, you cannot beat this card. You're forced to make plays like retreat if you get hurt and you don't die because you know, okay, if this Cramorant gets hit, I took a hit for 180. If it takes, takes one more, it dies. They take three prizes, one more knockout, they win. Just too easy to pull off. This card is so damn good that even if you play against a lesser player, you know, they just need to just use the GX attack, start using Ultimate Ray. It's so good. Even a lesser player can find success with this card. That's how strong we're talking about. I cannot emphasize this enough. This card is so fucking good. I've had a game. I mean, I've lost plenty of times today to it. That's why I'm just so pissed off making this rant. But one of the matches that I lost, I was using Raybor slash Embor, not uh, Rayquaza, but the Embor deck with Charizard V, Double. You guys know. Uh, Played with it recently, made videos about it. Arceus GX, and uh, she had a bunch of other like tech Pokemon, Bronzong, Zamazenta V, whatever the fuck. And Arceus V Star, too. Somehow, some way, I managed to make it close. I needed to only get one prize. She used the GX attack, Arceus, in the beginning, so the pressure was on. And then eventually, at the end, she got Arceus V Star out, too. So she got to use. Uh, this guy's GX attack, which is super broken, and then RCS V-Star power, which is super broken, to get two free cards. She got the boss's orders as well. I mean, she was gonna get the boss's orders. I scooped as soon as I saw the, the RCS V-Star and her smiling. But I just knew. Just gonna grab like a boss's orders or a Guzma, and it's game. Too easy to pull off. This card is just too damn good. Every player that uses RCS. GX, they always try to go second because you, you can't do much playing first right now. 
especially if you don't have like a Crobat or like a Den GX, you're not really going to do shit on your first turn. So you gain little to no advantage. And then what they're going to do is they're going to play second. They're going to attach the double dragon energy, easily searchable. And then the game is going to be done in like the next two, maybe three turns max. That's basically how it is. And this isn't to go to the fact that Ultimate Ray, you know, it does enough damage to be in that range where if they just put like a fucking muscle band on or the new choice belt after you use Altered Creation GX2, you're at 180 damage, now you're at 200, 210. This Pokemon can get one hit KOs on its own against V's and other Pokemon. Like you got a Crammer at V, it's gonna die and what have you. It's just extremely easy to pull off. Uh, like I've said, even if you're just uh, mediocre, like a beginner player, you just uh, follow the notes on the paper. Okay, just use the GX attack, start using Ultimate Ray, and then you win all the Pokemon games, basically. Uh, win all the Yu-Gi-Oh's, like Dub K Dad used to say. It is fucking insane. And I just don't know why they still think it's a good idea for them to have this card around still. I mean, they must really want it to just win like the championship or something when the world championship is going to happen in the UK this year. And hopefully it doesn't get cancelled again. But um, they just probably, I don't know, waiting for this card to win major event, that major event, and then they'll ban it. I don't have a clue. But they need to fucking ban it because I'm tired of this card. And I guarantee, I guarantee and I promise everyone, for as long as this fucking card is around, it will continue to see play. No questions asked. It's going to continue to see play. Because Double Dragon Energy is basically like a DC. You can easily power up with this dude. Thanks to Guzma Hala, you can easily search the shit. You can just easily pull it off. And even though it's a Tag Team GX Pokemon, which, um, you know, it's going to give out three prizes. I mean... To be honest, the, the Tag Team GXs are holding, holding on much better than the VMAXs because, you know, with the VMAX, you're stage one, you essentially need to evolve. You're going to give out three prizes. You got a little bit more HP, but you're stage one. And you don't have a GX attack or a V-Star power. V-Stars are definitely much stronger than the VMAXs. But what I'm trying to say is that in the case of Arceus, the Agapalkia GX, and maybe a few other GX Pokemon, like Mewtwo, um, for example, you know, it's just that basic Pokemon that you can instantly start with, instantly just use, 280 HP, it's going to make that impact, and it's going to give out three prizes, but with 280 HP, it's worth it on a Pokemon like Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, GX. It's not the case like with VMAXs, where you just stage one, you get like 50 more HP, but that's it, you don't really gain much more. Broken as fuck, man. Broken as fuck. I don't know what else to say, to be honest. Um, I've repeated myself plenty of times in this video alone. I've said this many times in other videos. Made a dedicated video about cards that need to get banned. This card is basically on top of the list. I mean, there's very few cards, in my opinion, in the history of the game that come close to it uh, when it comes to brokenness. Like, Pokemon that I think of that were just too powerful for the time um, and even if you were like a, a beginner a novice you use them you do well because that's how strong they were uh, i'm thinking of a uh, garchomp c level x from the dp era and this is when dc got released in the heart gold so silver set that was the card that made garchomp c level x extremely more broken than it already was and it's the same with rcs dialga palkia gx perhaps if uh, double dragon energy didn't exist then maybe it would have been slower, and it would have been a bit weaker, perhaps. But, I don't know, man. Just all of the advantage it gives you, like, no drawback whatsoever. It's just the effect to get additional prizes by just using the GX attack. It's just too, it's too fucking good, man. No other way to say it. You basically use the GX attack, and, you know, it's like... If you were going to get two KOs in uh, uh, regular GX or V Pokemon, they're going to give out two prizes. You get an additional prize. So it's almost like this card gives you basically two prizes 
and it gives you a plus 30 damage on all of your uh, Pokemon throughout the remainder of the game. I mean, it's a million times worse than something like uh, uh, Guzzlord Nakanelo GX, where you just you can just get two prizes instantly, but you need three energies to do the trick. So <sighs> it's just extremely strong, extremely strong. Is there anything else that I forgot to mention with this card? I mean, it's been out since what late 2019, or maybe it was in 2020. I don't remember exactly what year was when Cosmic Eclipse got released. Uh, it's very confusing to just keep track of the eras right now because of the extra sets they release and all that shit. But it must be around at least, it must have been around at least through either 2020 or 2019. So it's been around a few years. It's not like it came, it came out yesterday. I mean, as I mentioned before, now that we have Arceus V-Star, which is a very powerful Pokemon in its own right, you know, just a very similar Pokemon. Stage 1, you bring it out, it's going to give 2 prizes as opposed to 3, but it still has that 280 HP, an energy acceleration attack, and the V-Star power lets you grab any 2 cards. At least with Arceus, as more cards, as more V-Stars come out, it's going to have some competition where you might want to use... Dialga's V-Star attack or something, or uh, Hisui and Decide Eye to draw eight cards as opposed to just grabbing any two cards from your deck. So it's not the same animal. I mean, it's going to remain as a strong card, but when you pair it up, when you can combine it with Arceus Dialga Palkia GX and other broken Pokemon, it's just too much. It's just yeah, too fucking much. What else can I say? Since Arceus V-Star is going to be around, we're going to have a broken Arceus card anyway. If they're worried that, then there's not going to be any good Arceus card. So, this guy plus Arceus V-Star is not needed. Okay? I mean, I don't know if there's anything else they can do. I doubt they would want to, like, uh, give it an errata. I mean, that's probably more trouble than it's worth. I wouldn't mind if, if it gets, like, an errata. Like, if maybe it needs four energies to make the ultimate re-attack. Um... Just fucking something, man. It just needs something. I mean, to be honest, that probably wouldn't even be enough because then, okay, you can still get the Altered Creation GX attack with a Double Dragon Energy. And then if you attack the Double Dragon Energy, you can still make that attack. So, this is how good this Pokemon is. Even with an Errata, like even if Ultimate Ray needed like a fourth energy, it could still be very playable. I mean, especially with a, a fourth Colorless then you just attach a double dragon and a DC, it can work. Or even if it's like an additional water or a metal, then you still do double dragon energy, two of them, and it can still attack. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Um, you could say that it's biased because I've gotten my ass kicked to this card a million times, but I mean, there's a difference with getting your ass kicked because of skill and because, okay, my opponent just had me. And there's a difference between losing when you know every time I play Arceus GX with Dragonite and whatever the fuck, I know from the start that this is a losing game unless they brick. Unless they brick, this is a losing game from the start. That's it. Putting Pokemon like Dragonite in that range, you know, with the boost, and then you get extra prizes to do like 280 and shit and 300, and then you get extra prizes. I mean, come on. Just w what more do they need? I don't even know what more do they need to realize that this card is fucking broken. And it needs to get banned. I mean, we have other Pokemon cards that <laughs> probably aren't as bad, at least compared to Arceus the Agapalkia GX that are banned. And then they don't ban this card. <sighs> fucking hell, man. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna wrap this video up. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments. I don't give a fuck whatever excuse anybody's gonna tell me to justify this card being balanced or being fair or whatever the fuck. This card is broken as all fuck. It is the most broken Pokemon Pokemon card that has ever been printed. And I hope it goes soon. And that's it. I, I say this with full confidence. I can't think of any other card. I mean, you can think of Zorok GX. You can think of uh, uh, Garchomp Sea Level X, Luxray, Shit, I don't know what other cards, like maybe from the third generation that I can think of. 
Nothing comes close to this card. No other Pokemon. It is the perfect package. Excellent HP, Dragon type, Energy Acceleration attack with respectable damage, the most broken GX attack of all time, for sure. Easy as hell to power up. Uh, weakness, that doesn't really mean shit. I mean, what's the only bad thing about it? The three retreat? That's about it, basically. The three retreat, nothing else. And the fucking thing is that it's also attacking Pokemon. Uh, people can't forget that shit. So it's also searchable. It can also use uh, the Tag Team Engine too, if you think about it. Anyway, like Delta Species Pokemon and SP Pokemon. It's basically the perfect package of a card. No fucking drawbacks. So I've ranted long enough. This is going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing me complain. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this with your video with your friends. And the Pokemon Company, please ban this motherfucking card. I am tired of it. Anyway, bye.